Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Hey, how you doing? Suppose we should head up to the Arctic and go look for some polar bears. Yeah, it can't be that hard, right? Yeah, we'll just fly right up there. Be great. Pew! Well, we're in the Arctic. <sighs> Carpet of ice. Okay, sure. Yeah. How come you get a cool jacket? I want one of those. Because <laughs> he's not wearing a wetsuit. I'm wearing a wetsuit! I should get a cool jacket! Okay. I'm the Fonzie of Divers. Yeah. So, this area does, in fact, have a bit of a restriction. Cold water means you gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Ah, yeah. uh, there's a... a there's some, some, some white bear over there, I don't know. Is it a bear? I think it's a badger. <laughs> you don't know that! It's gonna be albino! Go on. It's a good thing to remember things before we go into the cold sub zero water. Wait, you brought Mandelbrot here? Yeah, we, we, we air dropped him on. Are you sure that's a good thing to do with a, you know, tropical dolphin? He'll be fine. He's got plenty of blubber. Does he? Yeah. He's mostly muscle. Fine. Warming muscle. Come on, Mandelbrot. We can do this. It's... Well, that's pretty. Oh, man. I'm excited suddenly. Welcome to the north coast of Canada. Um, it looks cold. Feels cold. It is really, really cold. I would let you know how it smells, but that would lead to my death. So yes, we are kind of in a rush here. Maybe your dolphin partner can help. Yes, so there's literally no way to complete this portion without using Mandelbrot to help you along. Mandelbrot, are you okay over there? He's just looking around. Hey, bearded seal. Great. A lot of seals here. Yes, much, really much like the Arctic that, Ocean. Yeah. Alright, Mandelbrot. Let's kick this pig. You gotta hurry here. Sea pig. We are going to run out of air very quickly, so we do need to move. Grab it, like. I'm hugging. I don't have to call him the dolphin. He has a name. Oh, it's the thing you already explained. Because we've been able to do this since the beginning. Yep. So, in these areas between the, the light, it's very, very cold. Like, it's oh, super cold. Ribbon seals. But if you're in these areas with sunlight, you can kind of stay there a little while. I really like this area because it's just pretty. Oh, you let go of the dolphin. 
No time to sightsee. Trying so not to die. By it. It just, yeah. <laughs> we will be back later. What? What now? Yes! He's a Greenland shark, and he wants you! Oh, I'm gonna talk about these so hard later on. Not now. Deal with it. Yeah, so Greenland sharks are huge, and you have to run away. They are huge, and they do not give a fuck. Ah. Okay. If it makes you feel better, they're usually blind. Okay, so I think we lost them. And I do believe this is the spot we're looking for. Hey, look, ox. All right. Warmth. <laughs> Relative warmth. Still super cold. Razor Bill. Good old Razor so Bill. So the trivia for these things. Uh, there was a bird called the Great Auk. It's a black and white flightless bird. It's found in the, it's extinct now. It's found in the North Atlantic. Uh, original name for this bird was the penguin. Yep. The, the penguins we know today are not the original penguins. They're named after the Great Auk. Yep, and the Great Auk was killed because they thought it was a witch. Yeah. Amongst other things. Tried as a witch. Oh, hey. What we found here? We owns. The sea angel. Or if you want to go with the archaic name, whale food. <laughs> what a lovely name. Actual thing in scientific journals of the day. Whale food is what these are called. Yep. Also a big blue one. Look at that one. Yeah, these are little heterobranks. Kind of just, you know... They, they hunt, actually. They do hunt, but yep. they just hunt tiny They're little things. Horrific, voracious little bastards. So, the sea cupid, or the ice cupid, is the legendary Cleone. They are a terror to find, usually. And I'm amazed you found it the first try. Good job. Oh, look at that lucky guy. So, uh, the, the, the story they say about the Ice Cupid is that, um, for several years, there have been a rumor among certain Canadian preservation groups whose activities focus on the Arctic Sea and tell of a creature called the Ice Cupid and say that anyone who finds it won't find true love. And this, this little, you know, giant sea angel may be what inspired that story. According to the stories handed down among a number of Arctic tribes, one child of the gods was a hunter who ruled over love and marriage. Perhaps the story of the Ice Cube originates from the tales such as these. This is all mythology made up for by the game. This is not actual. That's Yeah, but that's true of all the legendary fish. It is fish. fun, though! It's fun. They, the legendary fish are all made up, but you can believe it. They're plausible-ish. Yeah, why not? Uh, I choose to believe in the Ice Cube. You've managed to avoid drowning and reach the polar bears. Good job. Now what? All right, let's let's begin our observation. It's just kind of sitting there, kind of just poking its ass. Oh, that is strange. Oh, baby seal. I mean, they're opportunistic. They'll eat whatever. Yes. They'll take a walrus if they're starving enough. Usually it doesn't go well, but they'll try it. I, I did, actually. 
There are a lot of things you can do underwater you can do on land. Like you can move your Thank arm. Thank you for that. You can touch things. You can look yeah. at things. So you can indeed, in the Arctic, interact with things on the shore. Or on the ice, rather. You, you can think of TV themes you like. <laughs> what are you doing there, polar bear? Uh, here you go. You want this? You want this? Huh? You want this? Uh, go maybe get you it. shouldn't be teasing the polar bear. Uh, come on. Come on. Take it. Ocean is just back by the air tanks, just, you know, coiled in fear. <laughs> no, she's back on the boat, you see. No. She sees what's going on. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> uh, I know you got... Yeah, focus on that thing's eye. <laughs> I know you got trivia here. Okay. Oh, you had to give him a fish and then rub him. At the same time to make him sneeze, apparently. I'm sure that was supposed to be like a roar, but... <laughs> it's more of a hoot. Maybe you should not mess with the polar bear. No, probably not. So, the thing about polar bears is that their hair is not actually white. It's more transparent. There you go. This kind of reflected light makes it look white. <laughs> also, you probably shouldn't fuck with them because they are incredibly strong and do eat people. They are kind of the largest land predator. But... Yeah. Except for, you know, uh, grizzly polar bear hybrids, which are... For some yeah. reason, hi for some reason, hybrids just become mega monsters. Like they're just trying to. I, I try not to think about grizzly polar bear hybrids. What is with hybrids and them all just becoming like just super huge always? Well, they got brain problems. <laughs> it's like all of science fiction is just going for that thing. I like how you push that blue guy. You didn't care. <laughs> well, it's a blue guy. They're real relaxed. I'm a beluga. <laughs> I love mariachi. So, funny thing about belugas is in late spring, their skin kind of turns yellow and gross. Mm. So they kind of rub against sand and gravel to scrape it all off. They get new white skin. Yeah, there's a capelin. Uh, you may be noticing that binomial is weird as hell. Uh, when they're breeding pairs, males have... Their scales are shaped weird and they kind of hang off so it looks like they're covered in cheap wool. Huh. Yep. And then they mate and they die off and wash ashore. They're often eaten in Japan. Well, that's true of pretty much everything you've seen so far. Uh, do, are polar bears eaten in Japan? I don't think they live close enough to Japan, but... They probably would try. Well, would bear, do bear doesn't taste far? very good, so... At least that's always <sighs> been my understanding. Aww. Aww. Oh yeah, the double seal. Aww. Oh, Galarga. Aww. Yep. I'm a spotted seal. I'm super cute. Oh man, baby ones. Aww. Oh, holy shit. Ah. Oh. So most seals are born white fur. But those bearded seals we saw earlier, they're brown with gray patches at birth. They're weird like that. Oh, God, they're too cute. Of course, the reason they're born white is so they can kind of blend in with the ice. Yeah, I wonder if there's some sort of large predator out here that doesn't just sit on the ice board. Yes. Waiting for fish to be thrown to them. Yeah. Yeah. And he should be fucking dead. I'm sorry. Look, she... She's very good with land animals, okay? Yeah, but not sharks, apparently. No, sharks hate her guts. Uh, well, we did our job. We surveyed. We saw a polar bear. We saw some other things, too, so... Good job, team. Woo! Thank you, Mandelbrot. It's a very small map, comparatively. It is, but it's, it's sort of difficult to navigate all at once, is the thing. Yes. So, it's, it's, it spreads itself out. Ooh, an aurora. Ah, I want to see the aurora. Well, we, we, we can't, though. We gotta get going. Ah. We gotta get our tablets evaluated. Ah, I gotta go to stupid Japan. 
Look, there's a really nasty aquarium curator that needs polar bear information. I don't want. I don't want to deal with him anymore. So let's just get it done with, so he doesn't get all feisty. That Ken fucker. Yeah, Ken. Hate that guy. <laughs> so we should kill him with a forklift. You don't know that Ken's a common name in Japan, Red. Yeah, well, I assume they're all the same guy. <laughs> what? They're, they're they're all Star Wolves. Yes. <laughs> Every all single one is, is a Star Wolf. Well, not all of them, except for the ones that are named Ken. <laughs> so yes, all of them. <laughs> Being from space, I've never heard of the polar bear's hunting technique. Well, you found a polar bear and aren't dead, so... You see, I have to go curate another aquarium, you see. What is your job? <laughs> Curator. <laughs> well, so why you, you need to give up being a curator to go curate? Yes, somewhere else, apparently. In space. It's something more... Look, he has, to, he has to take a ride on the Bacchus to find a space aquarium to curate. Got it. <laughs> Aquarius must be really hard to do in Zero G. What do you mean you're almost famous? We've been published multiple times now, Oceana. We're super Let famous. Let me teach you the basics of curating. <laughs> I've studied it. That's what my doctorate is in. I'm a doctor of curation. You smug fuck. He does all, all those hand things. Honk. In the main tank. It's pretty big. See this, baby? Transparent aluminum. <laughs> Herb, tempered acrylic. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I can't wait for Endless Ocean 4, the one with the whales. Yes! <laughs> well, I bring along with me anyway, everywhere. Frankly, I don't know why I just don't wear it underneath all my clothes. It's great! It was weird on that trip to Utah, but... I think her new haircut looks nice on her. Yeah, it works. Maybe she'll style it differently later. I'm sure she will. I'm sure we will. Maybe we'll let the thread decide the style. We'll see. Yeah, yes, we were just here five minutes ago. That's the exit. That's where you came in from. You go out there to go back outside. About that thing we're getting Professor Sakurai to do. All right. That, yeah. I have no questions. <laughs> All right, well. Okay, let's, let's go curate some things. So, this is an extension or kind of a sequel to the aquarium minigame from the first game. <laughs> there are some substantial differences here. Like the fact that it's better in ways? Yes, it's better. And there's actually a point to it. That's, that's really the big difference, that there's a point. Yes. So, let's see, what should we put in here? We got quite a list. So fun thing, you see those those flashing new signs? Those don't go away until you place it in the aquarium. So if you have good plan to come back here, just expect to see that a lot. Yeah, we can place Everything it. is always new. Uh, I don't want to place. Let's we'll just do an auto. Hey, you got a giant grouper in there and everything. Yeah, you got a giant grouper, got a baby humpback whale. You know, why not? I think that's a white margin unicorn fish I saw. Some beegers? I think I see some conger eels. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure those are beegers. I think I saw some uh, emperor. Yeah! Yeah. I learned to fish! <laughs> yeah, it's the yellowtail surgeon fish. I actually fist pumped when meager popped up on screen. <laughs> well done. Good old pinecone fish. Pinecone fish, what are you doing in this giant aquarium? You don't belong here. 
You need to be someplace dark where you can be appreciated. <laughs> it belongs in a museum. Uh, it's in a museum. It just needs to be in a better museum. A museum with better funding. Uh, if you can afford a baby humpback whale, that's pretty good. Look, the Japanese are going to love coming here to look at that baby humpback whale. Mm, we'll see. They are going to be crazy about that shit, dude. They are. I mean, they love going to aquariums just to see the ocean sunfish. Yeah. They're crazy about the ocean sunfishes and the sea turtles. Also, the king of herrings when they occasionally put one in there and it immediately dies a day later. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's mythology. Mythology. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was brought back to the dragon palace, sure. Yeah. Well, that's that's why they want to stick at it. They want everybody to look at it. Ah, oh, it's just like you know, it's, it's like Came in my to warn you about the earthquakes and you stuck me in a tank. Fuck! <laughs> that sure is neat. Yes, you can sit here and just look. Sit. That relax. whale has got to be bored. Eh. <laughs> I'm sure they they give them things to do. Throw a ball in there. Eh. It was a dolphin, sure, but. Small world after all. So, fortunately, we haven't seen all that much to. It's been small yet. So, yes. We, we've seen some stuff in, you know, the open ocean and whatnot, but. Let's see, a Starge Demoiselle. Course, we just, yeah, just all the you got a you got a goby there, and yeah. yeah. Got a nice little sea slug and whatnot. So. Is, is a slug, a slug. Synchronized slugs, apparently. They'll they'll spread out eventually. This is where we dropped them. Yep. Goby hiding in his little hole down there. There you go. So we haven't been to anywhere particularly deep, or particularly river-like. But we've been somewhere cold, and we've seen one small thing in somewhere cold. FILL IT so. WITH ANGELS! <laughs> ENTREAT TO THE ANGELS! YES! SYNCHRONIZED ANGELS! On the other hand, I'm, I'm pretty sure Japan is crazy about this kind of thing, so... Oh yeah, you, you can even catch those in Animal Crossing. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a major hit. They call them sea butterflies in Animal Crossing, though, which isn't accurate. They actually yeah. eat those. Go figure. Huh. Animal Crossing? Inaccurate science? Dog playing the guitar! Ah, uh, you had me up to that. Uh, let's see, okay. Little Penguin Young. Fuck that, fiddle with polar bears. Galapagos Marine Iguana. And this is our bear room, and somebody just goes out there, and just there's bears just watching them. Polar bear, and uh... should you get something the polar bear won't eat? Uh, I guess I'll put a dog polar bear. And... I'm just kidding. Polar bears won't eat anything you put in here. And uh... yeah, let's put a spot seal. Very noble race subsist entirely on sardines that are tossed to them. Yeah, these, these animals can all live together without any issue. Why not? Nice cold Diet Coke products. <laughs> God, look at them all. They're so cute. See, the polar bears aren't going to eat the little penguins because they don't even live together. They don't know what to do with them. <laughs> exactly. The marine iguana, they have just no fucking idea. Look, he's just stupid as hell. He's eating that fish. He's herbivorous. I'm a polar bear, but don't worry about hey, me. Don't... I'm real nice. My name's I'm Frank. Very relax. I'll be working here next. Who knows? And they feed me so much fish, I don't even give a shit. Do you have any more fish? Well, that whale. Is... Let's just end that conversation here then. Alright, I've done all that you've asked. Can we please have our tablets now? Can we speak to the lady again? We did your curating.
Yes! yes we, we have finished. We are well warmed up for our new job. Of many. Great. The Aquarium of Deals. Well, that, that that's fast. good. I do enjoy fascinating revelations. <laughs> oh, Janet's pumped. They'll stop, look back at the door, and Ken's just playing the organ. <laughs> like, sorry! You're sorry. This was the new job I was talking about. I'm an organ curator. Nadine is all like, Song of Dragons, I knew it! Yes! Vindication! Did you say curation? No, the other thing! It's quite simple, really. You found a legendary treasure. Hmm, treasure. Ah, the Okeanides. All right. I've never heard of them before. Well, they're the ancient people who left these things, whoever they were. I don't think any of us expected him to say that. Oceana, my son, he was kind of a little crazy towards the end. <laughs> Nobody said anything about that. Shut up. You want to know where the gold is? Give me the gold. Uh, treasure or truth? Do what you uh, really feel, Zorak. Uh, I want to know the truth. As a man of science, I want to know the truth of dragons. Actually, Polar yeah. If we find dragons, dragons like treasure. They hoard it even. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a roundabout way. I'll find even more treasure that way. I like the way you think. <laughs> this is why we're friends. Because you will eventually lead me to treasure. <laughs> we're not obsessed about it because we're doing side jobs all the time. Yes. <laughs> we're giving tours. Did Matthias give tours? I don't think so. What? We have a clue? Wait, bad luck. You didn't say anything about bad luck. Well, that whale did try to kill us. Yeah. And you know, that, that one time we got locked in that room. Yeah, and then I got those brain problems. Yeah. Oh, the Weddle Sea. Well, I guess we're going someplace warm then. Shut up, Zorak. <laughs> Let me have this. Okay, you can join our company, I also want to know but... the truth! <laughs> but, that means you're our, you're our underling now. Is this a good idea? Or is this a bad idea? Is this idea? a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can Either probably... way, you basically picked both options. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing, really. Okay. Yay, you recruited a Japanese lady who's a scientist. <laughs>